say welcome to everybody. I think it's a great day. The weather is great for this event. Uh, I'm glad you could come out. As the uh, chairman of the Leavenworth County Republican Party, it gives me great pleasure to come out today and be a part of this event and to be a part of any Republican event. I'm really glad that we have great Republicans running for office and I enjoy the opportunity to be a part of those celebrations. <clears throat> if you are a Republican and you run for office, I look forward to working with you and helping you out in your, in your uh, campaigns. Today, we have uh, Stewart County Republican. Steve has been involved in numerous activities uh, within the county. He's been a party delegate. He's been a the treasurer of the state GOP. He's a small businessman. He's an army, a former army uh, special forces officer. And uh, today, I congratulate Steve. Thank Steve. you so much, John. I appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> John left some of the best parts out, but that's okay. We'll get to those later. If you could move in just a little bit more, I'd appreciate it. I spent all of my money on signs and cameras, but I don't have, didn't have enough for a PA system uh, or a teleprompter, so we've got that. I really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come out here today to help celebrate the first day of my campaign for the Kansas Senate. I look forward to, to discussing during that campaign a lot of issues that are important to Leavenworth and important to Kansas. But the most pressing issue that we have today is the crushing and unconstitutional burden of the federal government on our economy and the loss of our freedoms. We have an expensive, bloated, unelected bureaucracy that orders St. Vincent's Clinic, IMAC High School, and St. John's Hospital to provide birth control, sterilizations, and abortion-inducing drugs, or face punishing fines that will drive them right out of business. Now for the czars and the bureaucrats that have been appointed over us, church rights mean nothing. Individual rights count for nothing. Parental rights don't mean anything. And the constitutional restraints upon the exercise of federal power count for nothing. This is not what the American Republic is all about. Now we Kansans have a tradition of standing up for our rights and the rights of others, even when it was unpopular and even when it was dangerous. It's not for nothing that they call it the bleeding of Kansas. We have an obligation to pass on to our children and our grandchildren what we've gotten from our parents and from our grandparents. A free state. A free state that helped to save the Union. A free state that stands up for and protects the rights of all of its people. And a free state that will tell the federal government that it has no powers beyond those listed in the Constitution. We need a government in Topeka that understands that it is not a branch office of Washington, D.C. We need a state government that understands its obligations under the Constitution to protect its people. We need a state government that will reduce the burden on the taxpayer. We need a state government that will help set the conditions for an economic revival for Kansas and for Leavenworth. An economic revival that will lift us out of the economic doldrums that we're in and restore the rising prosperity that once was ours. We do not need more government 
programs. We don't need any more government regulations. What we need is more businesses with jobs, more citizens with paychecks so they can take care of their families. Every dollar that the government takes is a dollar that you do not have to spend on your family, to give to your charities, to invest in your future. It's a dollar that you don't have to save for your retirement. Every dollar the government takes makes you more and more dependent upon government programs as they dole back your dollars to you with all of the conditions that go with it. We Americans, you and I and our parents, created the greatest economy this world has ever seen. And now the government needs to stand back and let us do what we have always done. Build thriving businesses, strong families, and strong communities. Those are not the result of government programs. Those are the result of Americans doing what comes naturally, what we've always done. <laughs> government cannot tax us and regulate us and spend for us and turn it into prosperity. It won't happen. But it can protect, and it should protect, our right to earn and enjoy our own prosperity. That's the proper role of government. This, is elect this election is about the cost and the role of government. I say it should be a lot cheaper. And I say it should be a lot smaller. I'm I'm proud to be a Kansan. I'm proud to call Leavenworth my home. And I believe that Kansas can lead our great nation back to freedom, back to prosperity, and back to sanity. And I believe Kansas will. And that's why I have been announcing my candidacy for the Kansas Senate, so that I can represent and work for the people of Leavenworth and the free state of Kansas. And that's why I humbly ask for your support and for your prayers. May God bless us, may God bless Kansas, and may God bless these United States of America, and with God's help, may we deserve those blessings. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.